Hello, this is Miss Christine from the Ceramic Garden in Tampa, Florida. Today I want to talk to you about the tools that I use to teach hand building in the studio and the tools that you can find or makeshift tools that you can find in your kitchen so your kids can play with clay. Uh, here I have my regular clay wire with which I cut my clay. Loop tool, pottery tool, pottery tool, more pottery tool, and more pottery tools that have balls, little balls at the end, so I can create texture. I have rolling pins, I have a small rolling pins, a medium rolling pin, large rolling pins. I even have slats of wood. These are actually paint sticks that you can find um, at Home Depot. The small ones, the big one, and these are used to um, control the thickness of my clay. I also have cookie cutters. I'm sure you have a lot of different cookie cutters in your kitchen. I use also uh, manicure tools. Actually, you might have these manicure tools at home uh, in your kitchen. You might have, you probably have uh, plastic fork, plastic knives. Uh, this is more something you'll find in your bathroom, an old toothbrush. Something else you find in your kitchen is a spatula. And you can also find, uh, I'm sure you have different size bottle caps, empty tape roll, top of Tupperware, and everything. Over here, I have a whole tower of different stamps you might have. Uh, different stamps that you can use um, that you use in your arts and craft room. I also use uh, onion bags that you can find in your kitchen, uh, garlic bags, and also some doilies. So these are all tools that you can pull out of your kitchen drawers uh, so the kids can play with clay. And I will be creating videos using these tools to create different projects and I'll post them as I come up with them. Just give me uh, a little bit of time to put all these videos online. Thank you. I'll see you later.